Welcome to Ryoto Japan. Today I am in Kochi Prefecture in Shikoku. Look at this magnificent view behind me. The reason why I came all the way to Kochi is that I heard this is the only place in Japan where they eat sushi without fish. Sushi without fish? That's almost like fish without chips, popcorn without butter, or crisp broad without uploading videos late. But Kochi Prefecture is an area with a lot of mountains and forests. And even though it's located next to the sea, historically, it was very hard to keep fish fresh enough for people to eat. So people started to make inakazushi, which literally means countryside sushi using vegetables and ingredients that can be found in mountains like bamboo shoots and mushrooms. And since there also wasn't a lot of flat land to grow livestock here in Kochi, Another effort was put into growing other fruits and vegetables too. And the beautiful clear waters of the river running through Kochi made the vegetable grown here are extra tasty. Tomatoes, citrus, eggplants, anything. Kochi is known all around Japan as the place to get the best veggies. Wait, so no mouth-watering A5 Wagyu steak in this video? Did someone trick me with the steak? I mean, before I head off and try that inakazushi, I thought I'd go and find out if all Kochi's vegetables are all they're cracked up to be. Let's check it out! First up, I thought I'd find about Kochi's famous tomatoes. And once I had to run halfway across the prefecture, I came across a local tomato farmer named Miyoshi-san, who told me just what makes these tomatoes so good. えっと、糖度は5度。前後だとしたら日高村のトマトはだいたい8度から9度。はい、どうぞ。ありがとうございます。これははい、ですか。はい。甘いし、はい。濃い。そうですね。どちらかというと甘いよりも旨味が強い。
the spaghetti and they've got curry as well. This is a vegan dish but they have uh, all sorts of dishes uh, including the ones using meat and the ones without. And also, uh, they just told me that they have this little thing, bottle with spice. And what I'm gonna do is, is, is put some. I'll try and see how hot we become. Let's go. Now, it was finally time to try that inakazushi I've heard so much about. Time to leisurely walk to the place where... Huh? Wait, where was it again? I'm very lost. Ooh, what's the smell? Something smells very tasty. <laughs> so, this is Yoko-san who is originally from a region in Japan that's famous for gohei mochi or mochi with a sweet miso paste. Kochi, or more specifically, Hidakate where I'm right now, is famous as the birthplace of the famous ninja named Mohei. So after Yokosa moved here, she decided to make mohei mochi. Mohei, gohei, get it? Me neither. I just wanted free food. All right, so I'm going to start from uh, Mohe Mochi, not Gohe Mochi, but Mohe Mochi here in uh, Hidaka Village, okay? Just try it. Mmm, this is so chewy. Kind of sweet miso with some uh, nuts in it. And um, the, what's inside here? It's a white thing here. It's, it's rice. It's a sticky rice. Um, and they made like a half mochi, half rice, that's what it is, with um, miso sauce on the top. So this reminds me of the, um, the Indonesian dish, the skewer called um, satay. Um, it's, it's like that, it's a sweet nut, like a miso flavor to it, it's very sweet and nice. And it's not just delicious mohe mochi being sold in this uh, random shack in the middle of lumber yard. Did I mention how weird it is that I found this place? They also sell completely vegan thick tomato soup. And going with a ninja theme, and we even have ninja rolled sushi. And also completely vegan. I'm so confused right now. が好きなんです。あの、なんか、もう<笑> And so after my uh, random experience with a wooden box in the middle of nowhere that for some reason saw delicious food, I headed to guest house May, a stylish and spacious rentable house, perfect for steak for groups of friends or family, owned by Kochi Loko Haruka-san. And also where guests can experience making inakazushi themselves. Time for your turn's kitchen. So uh, now we are going to make what's called inakazushi. Uh, Inaka is countryside, countryside sushi, which is made only out of the local vegetables. So here is Haruka-san and Yoko-san, the ninja. I think you've seen her somewhere else anyway, but just uh, just rewind back and you might find her again. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. First, you uh, mix this thing with sugar, or is that salt? And then yeah, with the rice. That makes sense, I guess. And then you do the thing with uh, the other things like this. Uh, put uh, this thing in this other thing. Yeah, this looks right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ta-da! As if my magic, or just fast forwarding, that inakazushi is done. But why offer this experience to guests? Well, inakazushi isn't really a dish you find in restaurants. It's more of a family treat that local people will make for celebrations or big gatherings. It's also unique in the fact that the rice, or shari, has both yuzu and ginger added before you shape into sushi, or fail to shape it. <clears throat> so Haruka-san wanted to give a part of that koji culture to any guest, as they may not be able to experience it otherwise. So, Thank you. I don't know how many 
of these I made like probably like three. <laughs> because, you know what, because, because most of them are really beautiful. And the ones I made, I think you could tell. Hi, では、いただきます。いただきます。うまい。Can I just try something else? Like maybe shiitake next? Yeah? Okay. All right, you told me shiitake. Oh, it's falling apart. I don't know who made it. How can you do that? I don't know who made it, but it's falling apart. But, I, but anyway, I'll try it. Again. This was. What did you do to shiitake? I mean, how did you make it? Shiitake. This is shoyu and mirin. Mirin and sato. Mirin and sato. So that's why, that, that's why it's uh, sweet. That's right. Ah, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. Okay, please, please, please do, please do, please do. Makimono maze shitabete mi kudasai. Please do. Go ahead. It's a vegetable roll. Okay. <laughs> What is this that's actually, it's got a very strong flavor. What, what's in it again? What? Tomyo. Nani, nani Tomyo. Ah, Tomyo. Tomyo to ninjin to kiuri to. Pea sprout, um, cucumber, carrot, burdock, that's what it is. To paprika mo haite Ah, paprika, everything is there. Oh, I think the burdock is the one that actually, actually um, pulls out the flavor. It's a very strong flavor. And then um, together with other vegetables, um, this is very good. It's very good. Oishi. おいしいです。ありがとうございました。めっちゃおいしかったです。本当に。はい、ありがとうございます。So that's it for the video.、Uh, I hope you enjoy the sushi without fish. How was it?、Um, I think I was amazed by the quality and also like the flavor was amazing. You all should try、um, the sushi,、uh, the vegetable sushi here in Kochi. And but if you want to do that, you have to come here. Is there anything you want to say? Come to Kochi. See you in the next video. Let's check it out.